Welcome to For the Culture. Today, we are going to talk about Donald Trump, the felon in chief. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to For the Culture. Uh, another week on planet Earth and another story involving Donald Trump. It's the biggest story. So this is what's been going on. Ex-president, potentially future president, Donald Trump became the first former American president to be convicted of felony crimes Thursday as a New York jury found him guilty on all 34, say 34. 34. Charges in a scheme to in illegally influence the 26th election through a hush money payment to a porn actor who said the two had sex. The trial involved charges that Trump falsified business records to cover up a hush money payment to Stormy Daniels, as seen here. The porn actor who said she had sex with the married Trump in 2006. The $130,000 payment came from Trump's former lawyer and personal fixer Michael Cohen to buy Daniel silence during the final weeks of the 2016 race in what prosecutors allege was an effort to interfere in the election. When Cohen was reimbursed, the payments were recorded as a legal expense, which prosecutors said was an unlawful attempt to mask the true purpose of the transaction. Trump's political career has endured two impeachments, allegations of sexual abuse, investigations into everything from potential ties to Russia to plotting to overturn an election, and personally salacious storylines, including the emergence of a recording in which he boasted about grabbing women's genitals. Grab him by the pussy. Does this disqualify Trump for the candidacy for president of the United States? Because as he said in November 5th, we're gonna find out whether people People actually care about this second question here is how much will this actually influence people's voting if at all is this actually a bad thing like what he got convicted of because mm -hmm. essentially the case was hey he documented this as a legal expense when it's not a legal expense so basically the facts are stormy daniels may or may not have slept with trump mm -hmm. it sounds like around the time I, of i think we can all imagine they did probably they, did yeah but i don't know allegedly. i don't i don't even I, is he saying that he didn't do it that he didn't fuck her i did not have sexual relations with that woman i think he does but who cares yeah I mean, yeah it's like Re regardless it was about she was about to go public saying mm -hmm. that she did mm -hmm. around the time of the 2016 election mm -hmm. and the crime here is that he documented his hush money payment to her as a legal expense mm -hmm. so legality aside for a second because laws are not morality. Also, wait, doesn't this all of this mean that she did get money, but she's still talking? So the hush money didn't even work? Yeah. I think I want my money back. Yeah, well, that's just bad business. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's why low, you need to have shit in writing. You know? integrity. <laughs> yeah, maybe they didn't have the, a legal contract and yeah. that was a legal expense. Yeah, uh, yeah so I, in your opinion, legality aside, just for a second, is this actually problematic that he paid this person a hush money payment when they were about to say something that could have been damaging to his political career? So basically, I'm paying to protect my image. Yep. I feel like, isn't that what every presidential candidate is doing all the time? They're paying editors for their campaign. Aren't they paying certain people to say good things about them? Aren't you like, isn't that the entire game? Um, so I think that's a conversation worth having. Do I personally care? I feel like it, in the grand scheme of things, it, it really doesn't matter. I think, uh, like we said on episode before, I feel like this is being blown way out of proportion. It's actually weird to me that they even bothered to pay her hush money, because I don't think it would have mattered one bit to people who are Trump supporters. Like, imagine a world in which in 2016, Stormy Daniels went public and and people knew that he had sex with her. Let's say yeah. he even did have sex with yeah. her. Yeah. I don't think Trump voters were voting for Trump exactly. because they think that he's some spick and span dude who's very loyal to Paragon his wife. of Christian values. Yeah, yeah. I, I just don't think it was um, that, that relevant to people's perception of Trump to begin with. So <laughs> I'm actually surprised that they even bothered doing this. But even that aside, yeah, I agree. I mean, p p politicians are always granting favors and paying people and endorsing people mm -hmm. and bringing people onto their team just to help their image yeah so this actually doesn't bother me at all and mm -hmm. honestly this feels like a prosecution on a technicality mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. oh it's, yeah. not, it's not that you paid her hush money which is perfectly legal you can pay someone for whatever you want yeah is that you <laughs> classified it as a legal expense and i'm like I, that, that's the thing i was sitting here i was like of all the shit that he's getting accused of like collaborating with russia like if there's something that Trump needs to get taken down for, mm -hmm. shouldn't it be something that we can all agree 
is bad. Uh, the, the, my hypothesis is because this was the easiest thing to prove. Mm -hmm. And because I think he got actually exonerated of any ties to Russia, like when uh -huh. he went through the whole trial and everything. Uh -huh. And this was like, oh, we can get him. We can get him on something. So let's get him. Okay. Yeah. So who's we? Exactly. All right. Because because <laughs> the way you just presented it is this is one of the things we can get him for. We're going to get him for the easiest We're thing. Get him for something. Therefore, the point is not to prove a crime. The point is to take him down, which would suggest an intention. And if there is an intention, there's the suggestion of, well, who is the person behind the intention? And if yeah. there's a person behind the intention, yes, keep yeah. going. Yeah. From a personal and strategic standpoint, I'm not as interested in following the tangent of was it like a you know it's basically a conspiracy like and i feel like personally not motivated to go on that today yeah so i know you didn't you said you don't really <laughs> yeah, want to talk I want to about follow it. the conspiracy but fine fuck but it, we're, we're kind of talking about here it, we right? go let's go and and that that's that's kind of the thing like look i i just i can't bring myself to believe there's no agenda here with yeah. the amount of time and energy has been put into a relatively minor thing but if you're a democrat uh -huh. a liberal a uh -huh. wokey do you even care if there's an agenda? First of all, you throwing too many big words at me, okay? Now, because I don't understand them, I'm gonna take them as disrespect. Watch your mouth. Oh, of course they don't. Yeah. They just wanna see him lose. You're like, yeah, yeah. You, they just wanna see him lose, exactly. which is a problem because I feel like all this does is it undermines the credibility of Democrats mm -hmm. in the eyes of Republicans, and it forces Republicans to now double down and everyone's faith in the legal system gets lost. And everybody is more polarized. Yeah, because like look even if it is a crime like we actually spent a bunch of resources and time <laughs> prosecuting this mm -hmm. like of all the things that the legal system is being spent on this because it wasn't like some pro it's not like stormy daniels was suing him mm. it was a district attorney yeah uh, it was so the government suing him there's something very important here that we're not really doubling down on which i think is very important it's like can you imagine somebody fucks you and then they're like, don't tell anybody. Mm -hmm. I'll give you $10 if you don't tell anybody. It's like, damn, Jesus, I'll give you I feel like just not good for the brand. <laughs> I feel like trash. <laughs> I've had some of those. Whether there was an agenda to take down Trump can't be proven. But what is a fact is this was the government, in this case, the district of whatever Manhattan's district is in New York, mm -hmm. prosecuting Trump for a crime. Mm -hmm. And if they're prosecuting him for a Trump for a crime, then they're choosing to say this is important enough for us to spend legal resources on. Which and is, it's not, yeah, bro. Which is very highly it's debatable. just not. Like a hush money payment <laughs> to a prostitute yeah. or a stripper or whatever she mm -hmm. is. That's it's just not it's not worth legal resources. Okay, but if you were going to invest the resources into this and you had an hypothetical agenda yeah. and intention to take down Trump you would only spend those resources and that time and that energy because you assume that it would make a difference. Yes. Right? So then we have to have a conversation of, do we actually think that this would make a difference? If I'm a mm -hmm. staunch Republican, past Trump voter, yeah. you know, I raise my crops and I'm just fucking stereotyping the fuck out of them right now. But mm -hmm. if I live in the Midwest, I've always voted for Trump. And then I find out that yes, he paid this girl, you know, $100,000 to not tell anybody that she sucked his dick then it's like do i actually care would this change my vote would this make me be like you know what i'm gonna vote for biden yeah. and i just don't think that's the case no it wouldn't change their mind but that's not what the play is the play is to get him classified as a felon and then make it a legal block for him to be able to run for president anyways according to bigblackcock.com uh bbc.com uh they have an article called can trump run for president as a convicted felon and the answer basically is yes the U.S. Constitution sets out relatively few eligibility requirements for presidential candidates. They must be at least 35. If they must be at least 35, why is everybody 70? Why is, why is everybody double that age? Side point. A natural born U.S. citizen, can't be Obama, and have lived in the U.S. for at least 14 years. There are no rules blocking candidates with criminal records. But I'm pretty sure, taking me back to high school history class or politics class, whatever the fuck it was, I wasn't paying attention, but taking me back to high school, there is a law that says if you're a convicted felon, you can't vote, right? I think so. Yeah. So you can't vote for a president if you're a convicted felon, but yeah. you can run. Th this sounds like a maybe to me, and it's absolutely going to get challenged. It's absolutely going to get challenged. And we actually don't know if that qualifies at the state level as well as the federal level. Right, because there's a state, um, they run their local elections to decide where their electoral college votes go. So 
This definitely calls into question whether Trump can run for president or at minimum, whether legal blocks can be put in place to make it harder for him to win. Because we here at For the Culture care about facts and integrity, uh, we're gonna ask Chad GPT if a convicted felon can run for president. Yes, a convicted felon can run for president of the United States. The US Constitution sets only three specific requirements for presidential candidates natural born citizen, 35 years old, and they've been a resident of the United States for at least 14 years. Some states have laws that might affect a felon's ability to appear on the ballot. These laws vary by state, and while they typically apply to local and state elections, the complexity of navigating these could pose additional challenges for Trump's campaign. So, so it creates confusion, it creates potential issues, it creates potential obstacles for people for voting. For yeah, so for yeah. example, it might be the case that in New York, you're not allowed to be listed on a ballot as a felon. Mm -hmm. So even though on the federal constitutional level, you're allowed to run for president, you might not even be able to get voted for mm -hmm. on certain ballots in certain districts. So this definitely creates at least legal questions that now need to be answered and a bunch of resistance. So potentially, yeah. So going back to like, why are we even discussing this? It's like, there is an incentive if you are anti-Trump to prosecute what seems to be honestly a very trivial fucking crime. Yes if allegedly mm -hmm. there is an agenda then that agenda could potentially have ramifications on trump's eligibility to run in the future election yeah but even if it's not an agenda why the fuck are we spending tax dollars prosecuting something <laughs> like this well that actually brings us to the next point of this very riveting episode of for the culture uh geiger capital i don't know who the fuck it is or why they fucking matter but they did have an interesting tweet and the interesting tweet reads as follows mm -hmm. The first felony conviction of a former U.S. president wasn't for the Iraq or Afghanistan wars, illegal CIA coups, drone striking weddings, or spying on Americans. It was because Trump misclassified a $130,000 payment for a porn star's NDA. That's some old bullshit. Like, come on, guys. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, on. Uh, you know, I'm not, again, I feel like every episode we always hear helicopters hovering over the house and I feel like a red dot is on my forehead from George Bush, but like. I think there's a conversation to be had. It's him. Oh, it's him. It's your call, Chris. <laughs> if Trump had already won two terms and he couldn't run for president, would the this Stormy be Daniels happen? thing would have no mm. legal resources or financial resources. Yeah, exactly. Target. That's because the point. It's laws, they're not. The legal system is not a machinery. It's not a system that's run by machines, yep. right? It's a system that's run by people who are deciding where do we want to put our resources? What's worth prosecuting? So the fact that this is even getting prosecuted to me implies by necessity that there is an agenda. Someone is deciding this is important when on its face, it's just fucking not. Yeah, because there has to be something said for the convenience of the timing, right? Mm -hmm. It's like, if this is conveniently an election year, when this is something that you know, apparently they had sex in 2006. It's like, mm. well, why wasn't this brought up <laughs> sometime in the last 18 years, right? It's like, just like we had a conversation earlier. It's like, okay, if Stormy Daniels and Trump had sex in 2006, why was it not until 2016 that we start, Trump started having conversations with her about like, why are you trying to speak? Why are you trying to say things? It's like, you have to, if there's ever an allegation of a person, I think that there's always worth a questioning of what is the intention of the person behind the allegation, specifically when it comes to timing. I, I mean, I think it's because there are people who don't want him to win. Yeah. And I don't think, he, I'm not a Trump supporter. I don't think you're a Trump supporter. I've never voted for Trump. I'm gonna vote for RFK Jr. But I look at this and it just undermines my confidence in the legal system. That's and it makes me feel like the legal system is just another political tool now. Yes. So now no one's winning. Like he, he's ironically, he's actually right about the country being more divided than ever. And one could argue that he's one of the reasons that the country is more divided, but this is certainly just going to make the country even more divided. And I saw some of the commentary from people and there were people saying, hey, I." I actually was not a Trump supporter, but I'm actually going to donate to his campaign <laughs> because of this bullshit. Donors fired up this morning. The campaign website now back up and running after a rush of donations caused a crash moments after the verdict. I would hazard a guess that the majority of US presidents commit some crime at some point in their life. Because they're human. And in fact, I would hazard a guess that the majority of citizens have committed some crime in some point in their life. Most crimes that get committed don't get prosecuted. Yo, you're jaywalking right now while you're yeah. watching this episode. So, yeah, people commit crimes all trash. the time. You're trash. 
Damn. Relax. <laughs> Sorry. Like, that's his point, not mine. Um, so, so to me, the fact of whether he was convicted of a crime is actually fairly irrelevant. Mm -hmm. And I think the deeper question is, what was the crime that was committed? And does that disqualify them for candidacy for president of the United States? Right. Because I jaywalking think, is different than murder. Exactly. Yes. And I think this is a really minor crime mm -hmm. uh, that would, if I were a Trump supporter, it would not change my mind at all. Mm -hmm. Uh, and the fact that this crime was even prosecuted actually makes me much more suspicious of the legal system and the people who are incentivized to spend financial and legal resources. Like imagine that you're a New Yorker mm. spending tax money and you found out that this is what we paid a judge <laughs> and, a, and and took a grand jury out of their jobs to do. Remember to that go prosecute a misclassified expense remember that 12-hour <laughs> shift you worked at the deli while you had a sprained ankle and your girlfriend was texting you about how much she hates you that money that you made we just took a significant portion of that and just for this put it here for this just so you know so so <laughs> look like, so, so look I, <laughs> I, I and i would actually say i'm pretty confident donald trump has committed bigger crimes than this i think he's fair. I, I think he's he's probably committed bigger financial crimes than this too mm -hmm. And if one of those were to get prosecuted and it felt commensurate with the amount of time and energy spent on it, I'd be like, mm -hmm. great, I'm glad we're getting the truth. Mm -hmm. But this feels like a takedown attempt. Your position uh, a couple minutes ago, it was you were like, doggy. Your position <laughs> a couple minutes ago was you were saying this isn't going to move any staunch midwestern super red republicans off of voting for trump right it will in fact entrench their position it will further. entrench their position yep. more and we both know that it's obviously not going to make any left-leaning blue democrats vote for trump obviously right like again this idea of like some mastermind behind the whole thing some agenda some intention right mm -hmm. they can look at it and be like i know this isn't going to I'm, i know i'm not going to get a bunch of previous trump supporters and move them over to biden by doing this right mm -hmm. but there is something to be said for it could mobilize people who were indifferent. It could mobilize people who were like, I didn't really give a fuck, but like, bro, if I don't vote, then this guy who paid a porn star for blah, 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 this convicted felon, because all, at the end of the day, it's just a label that they're trying to put on this guy. Mm -hmm. that, like every headline I've read is like, Trump is convicted felon. Can convicted felons run? Like yeah. you that's- can Guarantee there's gonna be a Biden ca campaign ad calling him a felon. Of course. Convicted felon Donald Trump can't keep a home in check. So what makes you think he can keep America in check? Vote for Joe Biden, 2024. I'm Joe Biden and I approve this message. All they're trying to do is Put him in a small enough box and a tight enough box, a box that will make you retaliate, mm -hmm. a box that will motivate, especially, specifically the people who are otherwise like, I don't give a yeah. shit to be like, all right, fine. Ugh. If it's going to be against a convicted felon, I will do it. Yeah, um, I think that can happen. And I think that will be met by an equal or greater and opposite reaction of people saying, I knew it, the government's corrupt. Now I'm gonna campaign for Trump even harder. Who were initially Who initially were not even different, but maybe lukewarm. About voting. Yeah, about voting. Okay, fine, I yeah. think this will just deepen the division in the country. Yes. And it That's will- That's what we've always wanted. Yeah, great. More division. We haven't had yeah. that in so long. Yeah, I hate I how unified we've been. I can't wait. It's gonna be great. Yeah, so I, I actually <laughs> think this is, this is just feeding into Trump's narrative of yep. all these institutions are corrupt we need to drain the swamp and they're all against me i'm a freedom fighter i think that's what he's gonna do he's yeah. just gonna ride this shit and we're gonna have an even more divisive election great marketing. so yep yeah, you cut off the your what is it you cut off your nose to spite the face yeah good job guys congratulations good job america we're doing great what crime would trump need to commit in order for you to be like you know what never mind i'm not uh, gonna vote for this guy a crime that is a moral crime Okay, so you don't think paying $130,000 to a busty porn star so that she doesn't tell anybody that you fucked her in order to protect your saintly image is enough of a moral crime? No. Oh, what, what's, the, what's the crime there? It's a little bit of a flex, to be honest. Yeah. You're just trying to persuade her to like, hey, can you not, just be quiet? Yeah. <laughs> can you just not talk about us having sex? Yeah. <laughs> can you not air my laundry? Yeah. Like, what's the crime? Yeah. yeah. And obviously he knows it's bad for his image, but it's like, play, you don't... Know, People, politicians do shit that's good for their image all the time. Would you, is there anybody you fuck that you would, you would pay to not say? Oh, for sure. Who? Yeah. I'm, why would I? No, 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 I almost got him. Why, why, I almost why, got him. You thought, no, he, he, did, he thought about it. He was no, like, oh. I, did, I, li <laughs> I literally, I literally <laughs> did it. I thought of who, but I did not thought, think of saying it. It's like, yeah, you never had that? You've never fucked someone you're like, I'd prefer if people didn't know that. <laughs> Jesus. Okay.
okay, definitely. <laughs> when you say it like that, it's just so disrespectful. It, like, it, it's, you know, so it's like it's like it's like somebody's not, daughter, man. Also, you level up too. He's like, all right, you know, she was, you know, I right for the time, but not now. I mean, there's people who I'm like, wasn't my best, wasn't my best, exactly. But it, but it, but it's people I'd be like, yo, please. Don't tell anybody. Not like, please. Like, <laughs> relax, bro. It's not like that, but like, yeah, you know. I mean, this is what you look I, like. You I would prefer like... if you don't talk. I'm not going to pay you $100,000 for it, but I prefer if you don't talk. Yeah. I mean, there's people like, I mean, even if somebody was like, oh, I heard Amari fuck. I'd be like, yeah, I did. It was charity. <laughs> Damn, okay. <laughs> All right. Wrap it up, nigga. <laughs> exactly. Clever. Take it home. All right. So, in summary, what we talked about today is whether donald trump getting convicted as a felon matters legally or in from an influence standpoint what him even getting prosecuted for this reveals about the legal system and the fact that amari doesn't have anyone that he'd be uncomfortable letting the world know that he fucked them i only fucked tens all right y'all make sure you subscribe I got one felony, I got two felonies, I got three felonies, I got four felonies, I 